Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura's trade mission continued in Winnipeg today. Unlike Day, who's fighting for his political life, Ventura seemed to easily win over everyone he met. Kim Babich reports. Broadcasting live from the Forks to WCCO, here's Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. And I guess we're hot. We're on the air here with another lunch with the governor. Thank you for joining us. We are not at the Capitol in St. Paul. We are not, in fact, anywhere in Minnesota. Several hundred kilometers from home, Jesse Ventura still had to host his weekly radio show. Life goes on and away we go. The popular, outspoken governor of Minnesota dropped in for a whirlwind tour of Winnipeg. It's his first time here since being elected leader of the state. I'd rather have this guy on our side than uh, against us, so I'm really, really happy to, uh, I'm really, really happy. Earlier in the day, Ventura and Premier Gary Dewar signed a Minnesota-Manitoba agreement to work closely on trade, tourism, and protecting water resources means that your province and our state have known from the beginning that we'll get where we want to go much quicker if we make the journey together. After a customary gift exchange, Ventura spoke at a Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce luncheon. As a direct result of the 1989 U.S.-Canada Free Trade Agreement, a region-wide partnership was born that is known today as the Northern Great Plains, Inc. He also signed an art-sharing agreement between the Winnipeg Art Gallery and the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. Throughout the day, fans followed the governor everywhere he went. Some came to see what the wrestler turned politician had to say. He just wants to, like, say what needs to be said, and I really appreciate that. Others were more interested in the man they remember from the squared circle, that is, Ventura's professional wrestling career. My name's Jesse as well, and so I've followed him my whole life, and finally to have an opportunity. Uh, I thought this would be the closest I would to get meeting him, but uh, this, is, this is awesome. But now that Manitoba and Minnesota have solidified their relationship, will the governor be back to Winnipeg anytime soon? You know, i got to go to China this fall and probably Europe next year, but we'll try to get back again. Spoken like a true politician. Kim Babbage, CBC News, Winnipeg.